to the sea, the sea. Hey guys, this is Buck from Hope and All Letter Oregon. I'm here today at the Chica Lodge for the Earth Day celebration. I'm gonna speak in a little while, and we're here. We have two letters to make today in sand, and we have A and T. So I hope you guys stick around and see how they turn out. Everybody, so much for coming out. 2016 Earth Day. Yeah, you gotta move it up. Reinstating a tradition that we are so very glad to have back home. Um, at this time, if you're little and you would like to look for buried treasure, if you come running to me as fast as you can, I would love to take you on a treasure hunt for a buried treasure. Don't run into the band's equipment. Okay. All righty. And I'm going to take the kids on a treasure hunt. And we're going to do that. And thank you so much for our letter sponsors. It's a hot one. Make sure you use your sunblock. Okay. That's Beautiful Florida Keys. Hi, I'm Amy. I'm the event coordinator today for Earth Day 2016. We are elated to have so many people here. We have wonderful speakers throughout the community that do great things for our community. We also have letter building going on behind us, which is super awesome. These guys are saving, uh, writing Save Earth, and this is our 2016 slogan. So, Earth Day 2016, Chica Lodge. All right, everybody, come on. So, you ready? No. Isabel's about to go on stage. You ready for your first big thing, huh? Yeah. Excellent. I'm You're doing a great job. Everybody's excited about it. Incredibly honored and humbled by the amazing love that. The citizens of the Keys have for their ecosystem. It is just amazing, and it's why we're all here. Um, this young lady is pretty awesome. I don't know how else to say it about her. She runs an organization called Help End All Litter Org, and she is young and she is doing great things for her community. So she's going to be our first guest. I'm going to walk off our of pier. But without any further ado, young lady, I would like to introduce Isabella. So, I want to bring up someone really quick who I actually didn't know was going to be here. This was really, su really surprising to me, and uh, he's really been supportive of what I supportive of what I do. And uh, why don't you come up here and say a few words? Really quick? Well, I'm really proud of Isabella, you know, for being an ambassador for the planet. What do you guys think of this young lady? We need more of this, and uh, she's going to inspire our youth around uh, America to take care of our, our planet. It's the only one we got, and, uh, you know, Wyoming Foundation is extremely proud of her, and I'm really proud to be a uh, part of the community of Iowa Marotta. I love Chica Lodge. What do you guys think of this place? This is awesome. Anyway, all I can say is that uh, to all you kids here, you guys are making a difference. All of us adults, the old kids, we're extremely proud. And what I always say is if you want to protect the environment today, talk to people like me, us. If you want to protect it for the future, you got to get the kids involved. And nobody does it better than Isabella. So congratulations. Okay, well, thank you so much. And I'm going to start off by saying that I'm not a public speaker. I didn't know that starting this would really lead me to doing so many of these uh, speeches. So I'm just going to let you guys know and bear with me through this. And I'm going to start from the beginning of how, I, how this all got started. So I've been going to Point of View RV Resort for, this is going to be the fourth year this summer. And a year, no, 
three years ago, I was by the pool and there was a guy, um, Rick, interviewing a bunch of people by the pool. And so me and my cousins, we all got interviewed. My sister and my cousins, we all got interviewed. And it was really fun. So I pulled him aside afterwards and I told him if I could do on camera stuff for CI Beach. And he told me yes and he told me that I had to email their operations manager, Jackie. So I sent her the next day a two-page bio about me explaining why CI Beach should hire me with photos and really just that. And I told Rick to put in a good word for me. And they probably thought that it was kind of funny because so I was trying to come off as mature, but yeah. And so over these past three years, I've been doing different videos like at Math Monkey, Safari Adventures, and Osprey Farm, and the Everglades Outpost with Ashley Lawrence from Gator Boys. So those, are, this, those videos have all been really fun. I'm proud of all of them. And I'm just glad they've taught me how to be like a better person in general. And it was actually during the CMI Beach video that I got inspired to do what I do today. It was an Indian, it was a video of Indian Kifo, it was a community interest video. And we were filming the scenery when Rick told me to move to my left because there was trash in the way in the shot. And that's not good for an interest video. So I did and I had to reposition a few more times because of all the trash in the shot. And that's when I went home and I started researching about litter and I found out about the, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and the Plastic Beach and just the, the whole toll the litter is taking on our environment in general. And so I called Rick and I told him that this needs to be a section on KidZone, um, which is a segment on KidZone, which is my section of the website. And so that was our original plan, which got changed a few times actually. And so that's what we were planning. But then the more that I researched about litter, the angrier that I got about it. And so I told him that it was bigger than just a section on Kid Zone. And so he said, okay, we can make you a presence on CIBeach.com, but first we need a name for it. And so coming up with a name was really actually pretty difficult. But I actually came up with the acronym for HEAL, which is um, Help End All Litter. And my team members would just end up being called Heal Kids. And so then all this got me really thinking about how I can take this worldwide. And then I realized that they could, there could be kids around the world who have the same passion as me and just don't have access to a company like See My Beach to get started with. So that's when the true mission of... <laughs> nice replacement. That's when the true um, vision of Help End All Litter came about. And I called Rick and I told him that we needed to plan a meeting with everyone, well not everyone who lives locally at CM Beach. And we all met up at Miami Lakes, which is where I live. And I explained to them what I really wanted to do to make sure that they were all on board because in order to start this, I would need money from them to help me get started. And so they were all for it. And that's when we started planning my first organized cleanup. It was on February 27th and there was a three month promotional period. And through that period, I appeared on America TV, the Girls' Night Out radio show twice. I spoke at Key Largo School a few times and at uh, Plantation Key School. And I actually went to Wildlands House to talk about what I was doing. And after that, we got in touch with Ashley Lawrence from Gator Boys, and she had to rearrange a trip to Costa Rica in, uh, to be there for my first cleanup. And in that three-month promotional period, we had 272 kids signed up. So I was really excited, and when I arrived there the day, uh, when I arrived there at Lorelai's, I had a few sponsors also, I forgot to mention that, um, from CI Beach, and from, in general, helping me. I had uh, Island Rod Jewelers, Lorelai, and Major Order. And so, when I got to the staging area at Lorelai's, I was surprised and shocked, and I was pretty devastated to see there's only 24 kids that showed up out of 272 sign-up forms. So I put on my best face for the day and at the after party at Made to Order restaurant there was a few kids who were still in the parking lot cleaning up with their grabbers so I went over to one boy and I told him the cleaning up part's over, you can go have fun, this is the after party and he told me that cleaning up with the grabbers was fun and that's why I let them keep their grabbers after that how bad the litter problem was like to give you a little we had four areas that we meant to clean up on the day of the event and we ended up only cleaning at Indian Key Full we only cleaned up one section of it after being there for three hours and so we had 80 adults show up to the cleanup though so that was good because they all sacrificed a Saturday in order to help make the world a better place and so 
a few days after it came up, we had a bunch of kids contacting Help and All Litter directly and saying that, um, that they wanted to be there, but their parents had either made other plans or they had forgotten or just a bunch of different excuses. And so that's when I decided that the kids, that's when I like thought that the kids wanted to be there. They just didn't have access to be going. They didn't have a ride or they couldn't have just gone. And so that's when I started thinking about having a field trip cleanup, something like that, or different ways to make a cleanup okay, works yeah. that their kids wouldn't have to depend on their parents too much. And so a few reasons why I think the litter problem might be so bad at Indian Keyville is because when you go to Indian Keyville, everyone is around the ocean, fishermen and tourists, they want to be by the water when all the trash cans are by the street, by the, yeah, by the sidewalk. So a way that we might fix this is to bring the trash cans closer to the water and make sure that they're emptied out more often. And so a few weeks after my first cleanup, I got an email from Ms. Caputo saying that her that her kids were really inspired by me and that they wanted to be my first chapter called Penda Litter. So without further ado, I want to bring up Ms. Caputo and all my new kids. Uh, one of my students, Wyatt Clark, he had uh, found this in one of our cleanups. So we decided to do something creative with the stuff that we've been finding. And, and so we decided to make this on all the kids. And uh, we put their names on it to represent Isabella and Help End All Litter. We, I am so proud of these kids from Key Largo School who we have been giving up Saturdays and Sundays to go and clean um, neighborhoods in Key Largo and without Isabella I don't, I'm not sure that I would have taken the initiative to get them to do it and I can teach all day long and just words can come out of my mouth but if I don't show them and be that person who takes that step and to actually bending down and picking up the garbage and showing them it's okay, then they're not going to do it. And uh, they have gone above and beyond. Um, I, I'm just really proud of them. I'm blessed. I've been teaching for 20 years, and this is by far is the greatest group of kids that have uh, wanted to protect our environment. My son. Uh, recently saw pink flamingos in the Everglades. He was out boating and I kept telling him, oh honey, you saw Rosetta Spoonbills. No mom, I saw pink flamingos. And then he took out his pictures and my heart just soared that we are making a difference in our environment to bring back all the birds that used to fly in the Everglades and to know that we are seeing pink flamingos back, and bald eagles, and rosetta spoonbills, and these are our future conservationists, and environmentalists, and leaders, and presidents, and all you parents out there, you deserve a round of applause for being their coaches, and their fan club, so thank you. And Isabella, without her, this wouldn't have been, we wouldn't be standing here today. Thank you. These are the real heroes of helpend.litter.org, and I know that they're not appearing on TV, or they're not in the newspaper, they're not in the limelight of the radio station, but they're the ones who are really making a difference here. They're the reason why Help and All Litter has been kept going. And so, I know we have, I know us, I know that I'm only 14, and my heel kids are even younger, and we do have limitations, but every few dollars that you donate will help to buy grabbers and disposable um, trash bags and everything that we might need, and adults, um, adults, <laughs> and shirts for promotions and so imagine set a goal in your mind of picking up just a few pieces of litter every day and calculate that by everyone who's here and think about the fact that we can really make a difference if for any information that you need go to helpend.litter.org and and um to thank chica lodge thank you so much it's an honor to be here and thank you for that and so in honor of that we're going to be dedicating a cleanup to chica lodge and so i have this one quote that I couldn't memorize, but I have it here, which it was by the original Earth Day founder, Gaylor Nelson. He said, the ultimate test of a man's conscience may be his willingness to sacrifice today for future generations. Uh, 
that went away, whose words of thanks will not be heard. And so, one last thing I want to bring up. I want to bring up Miss Law, who has a special announcement to make. So. <laughs> and then we're going to let some kids talk. So, sometimes it can be small to get kids. This guy ain't a lot more than Hello, good afternoon. My name is Miss Lal. I teach at Plantation Key School and I am very proud to announce that uh, Plantation Key School will be the second chapter of uh, Isabel Fernandez's Clean Up and All Litter. Um, thank you, Miss Lal, for um, inviting me and today and inspiring me to continue what she has started with her kids at Key Largo School. I'm so excited to continue it with, with, at Plantation Key School. So thank you very much. So I'm going to let some of the kids talk and I'm going to let them say what inspired them to do, um, to be a part of my mission. So I never knew these guys from me. I love them. This guy. Try to talk into the mic. Talk into the mic. Well, thank you. She said that I inspired her to do what I do today. So thank you for. So, anybody else want to say something? Yeah, it was fine. Into the mic. Into the mic, Isabel. Nobody can hear. Thank you. 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 Thank um, what inspired me was, uh, all, I always go to this one park, and it's always filled with trash, and I think that, like, one day I really want to clean it up, and she, uh, Isabella inspired me to start looking at the world, um, like, I can fix it. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, anyone? Yeah, yeah. What inspires me is that... There is trash everywhere in Key Largo, and it's killing um, a lot of animals. And, oh my god, I don't know what to say. Killing animals in your own trash and you them and you want to save them. They don't go away. Yes. Yeah. Shy kids. What inspired me was I've known Isabella for a while now. And um, what she's done for the world inspired me because I've seen so much trash. I want to make the world a better place because so much trash can kill so many animals and you can't walk anymore. So thank you for helping clean the world up. Thank you. All right, I think that's is everyone. Is, is so to my brother's baseball game there would all I would always go to the spot by the water and there would also there would always be a lot of trash and I would try to pick up some of it. Alright thank you so much. Huh? So there's more kids. Oh is there anyone else? Anyone? Kaylee? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What inspired me to clean up trash was wherever Go get him to the mic. What inspired me to clean up trash was wherever I went, there would always be trash. And I don't want Key Largo to be a place, well, the Keys in general to be a place, like maybe some beaches in Miami where there's trash absolutely everywhere. I want to, Isabella inspired me to clean up trash because she gave me that chance to clean it up. Thank you. What inspired me to, to clean up trash is um, my friend Sophie Caputo. She brought me to these cleanups, so I, I thank her. And if I did not know her, I would not be here today. All right, I think I think that's everyone. All right. So I thank everyone for being here, and I thank Chico Lodge for inviting me here. So. 
Thank you guys so much for coming. She's gonna say one last thing. Okay, who? Let's go. Um, as, as, the, as a chapter to this organization, they have provided uh, my whole class with grabbers and biodegradable garbage bags and gloves, and that's a huge thing to get us started. So for that, uh, we're very grateful that we can carry on. And we also have to present our um, Sophie Caputo Award. It is, uh, she's, she's my daughter who decided to give up her Saturdays last year to uh, clean instead of watch her brother play baseball. So um, this, this month, Wyatt Clark won the, the award. Both of you hold it. Smile, Wyatt. <laughs> Got it. Thank you. Yeah. Just say goodbye. So. <laughs> what inspired me to pick up trash is because I hate seeing the world like this now. I can make it a better place in the future. All right. So thank you so much, everyone, for coming here and being here to support me today. So um, thank you for giving me this opportunity. certificate but all about planet earth picking up trash you're a great example for the rest of the world thank you all right thank you so much i'm sure to be visiting again soon awesome great thank you thank you yeah. Painting in sand is a new world, isn't it? It certainly is. <laughs> well, thank you for coming out. You're welcome. Well, I've enjoyed it. Gotten a little uh, redder than I was before. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna get, that's what we give you a little tan, and you, you covered it up with blue, I see, uh, on your yeah, hands. Yeah, green. Green, green. green. <laughs> we'll see you later, Morna. Thank you for coming out. Thank you guys so much. That was uh, some Crosby, Stills, or Nash. We can only do two at a time. We can't do all three. You know, but... Everybody young, man. Everybody That'd be young. pretty cool if we could. But... Look at this. See me on my beach. <laughs> now, thank you for saying it so loud in front of everybody. You got my support. <laughs> That's a new country song. So okay. Are you with the last one? <laughs> we'll create a new country song around. There you go. I want to be part of everything. It's right there. Oh man, something tells me I should play like a theme from MASH or something. Do it! Oh, no. <laughs> you guys, this beach is beautiful. Quick uh, round of applause to yourselves. My gosh, this is gorgeous. The still shots are happening right now. And uh, they're... Everybody on the beach, let's go! Go, go, go! Good side. I gotta get my dimples in there. 
such a good awareness okay so I just want to clap again for you guys you're awesome okay that's awesome also we want to clap for everybody but they also receive a 200 and that's due to the generosity of their wonderful GM Deanne hi Deanne over there looking at the letters and the generosity of Chica Lodge Thank you again for coming back, and this tradition is alive and well again. And we will see you again, sponsors, and I'll be calling again for more money <laughs> to donate to these great awesome. teams. Yeah, Thank you guys so, so much. Yes. You all are so awesome. Everybody, amazing artwork. <laughs> 